Hello friends and family. It's been a while, so I thought I would give you another family update. We have been very busy and there have been a lot of things going on that are, some are great, some are not so great. We got to go to the zoo this week and we had so much fun. So I actually decided to make some videos while we were there and I'm excited to post those. I'm gonna post the dragon one today and then I'm gonna to work to edit together one about all the other animals too. So those are more geared towards kids. So if you have kids, you should show them that video. We had a lot of fun with it. Where are we going today, boys? Shane, where are we? Okay, let's talk about the garden. I wanna show you this in person, so I'm gonna head down there now. Okay, let's talk about our family garden. <laughs> I think it was going really well. And it was actually getting really easy because it was raining pretty much every day. It would be super beautiful and sunny, and then it would rain. Um, then we had a little bit of a dry spell, so I was a little bit worried, and I was kind of forgetting to water it, and it was looking a little sad, but <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. We were away for four or five days for the 4th of July and there was a ton of sun and a ton of rain and this garden has grown. I think we put too much in here. Just take a look. <laughs> it's like a jungle. Oh my gosh. Let's take a closer look. I should have known that these zucchini plants would be giant but oh my gosh, they are huge. And my tomato plants are starting to get a little bit, but I had such a struggle. I had such a struggle with the tomato plants because there were not any tomato towers anywhere near me. I went to three different stores and that's the only number of stores we have. And to order them online was super expensive. So they've grown a lot. And I have some now that I got from a relative. So I'm going to try to install the little towers for the tomatoes now. And hopefully that'll be fine. But it's hopefully <laughs> at the point where there's like so many weeds and things. I don't, I don't even know what to plant once a week so I'm gonna try and clean this up a little bit today wish me luck I just did some major cleanup and it's in better shape. Uh, we knew this would happen because we planted a pumpkin. We knew that it would go all over, but man, that thing grew. So what I tried to do is I put the vine underneath 
the little chicken wire fence and so i'm hoping now that it'll just continue to grow um just along the forest line and hopefully it'll thrive there so let me show you what i did we have tamed the tomato plants they're all in their little cages now again because i did this late i don't know if that's gonna then harm the plants and they won't actually grow but at least now they're contained and then I don't even remember what these are, maybe some kind of beans. So we've got those, those look actually really cute. You've got three of them right there. And then these zucchini plants are looking really good, but really big. And then back here is where I just kind of put that big vine. Um, I just put that whole pumpkin plant just kind of underneath and over the fence because there were a couple different things so I wanted to see what would work better. So now it'll just kind of keep growing over along the forest line. Looks like we've got something sprouting in there. Little vegetables sprouting in there. We've got some kind of little melon starting here. I know we planted watermelon. That might be what this is. Here we've got some other little tomatoes coming in. So things are growing, but I don't know if they'll continue to thrive. I hope that we get something. I think especially those zucchini looks good. And I'm excited to see if the pumpkins take now that I moved it. I hope I didn't snap the vine or anything to make it die. We'll see. I'm excited for that. Hopefully it'll take. As far as our wildflower area, we did put down a bunch of seeds and now we're just letting the grass grow. We put out these cute little logs. And so then hopefully by next year, this whole area will be just tons of tons of different wildflowers. So maybe not this season, but hopefully next year. So yeah, it's a mess, but it's still fun. It's all right. We're making it work. On a more serious note, we have had kind of some struggles this month. You know, my grandmother passed away, which even though we weren't very close, it's still really kind of, you know, it hurts to lose someone. and. To make things worse, we ended up catching COVID that week. So we came right back from visiting family and with the funeral to being quarantined for five days. And that was so rough. That mixed with, you know, I'm really kind of experiencing some of those baby blues. So it has been emotional. Little Seth is too. And actually I hear him kind of yelling right now. So I better pause this. I better pause this and go tend to him. Um, but yeah, it was it was kind of a rough month. Uh, a lot of things were were tricky, but you know we powered through. We're I think on the other end of a, a rough month, and now we're looking forward to in a couple weeks having the baptism for little Sullivan. Another exciting thing is that I'm actually getting more hours with the my new job, which I think really kind of helps with the baby blues to have of something for just for myself to work on. So I was just gonna be doing five hours a week, but now I have the potential of working uh, even more 10 or up to 20 if I have you know the time and the work to do. So I'm excited about that. So I've decided to start working an extra day a week uh, and I have my mom and aunt come over and help with the boys so that I can get some more hours in and I'm really enjoying it. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about that. I think next week I'll put together another video telling you exactly what that company is and what I'm doing because it's a lot of fun and I'm going over to the office next uh, tomorrow actually to do some work. So I will take some video while I'm there so that I can show you what my new job is. It's very exciting and fun. Okay, that's our family update. We will see you all next week with some more outdoor learning activities. <laughs> your nose is blue. Why is your nose blue? The chalk. Do you want to tell them about your chalk? What were you drawing? Uh, pictures. pictures. You were drawing pictures outside with your new chalk, and then you got some blue on your. You got some blue on your nose. <laughs> All right. Say bye. See you next week.